people on that goofy shit. I hate them. These people out here tweaking, bro. I hate them. If you ready for the show, say. I hate them. Say. I hate them. Say. I hate them. Onward. Hey. Onward. <laughs> on dancer. <laughs> on prancer. Ah, uh, shit. Hey, man. Uh, shit. Are we going into this right now? All right. Who and what are we keep leaving in 22? No, let's do, let's do positive first. Then we go to negative. No, 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 no. You right. You right. Who are we leaving? <laughs> Who are we leaving? Or what are we leaving in 2023? Hmm. If you ain't got shit, I got some shit. Yeah, you got you started out because I got a bunch of shit because I I feel like oh you know what I do get one. Okay. All right. Krishan and Blueface. That was on my goddamn list. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh well then we on the same. I bu- wanna I yeah, don't you know. I don't even like like, when they come on my timeline. I I hate it. I hate that shit. I hate that we giving them so much much shine right now. And I feel like maybe it's because we aging out. Because there was a time where the Bobby and Whitney shit was like. No, it wasn't that though. They was happy together. Like The the Bobby and Whitney shit was like people didn't want to see them together. But they looked happy in public. These niggas are fighting in public. Like we heard, like in the background that Bobby and Whitney was fighting. But we was like, oh, but in public, no, they, like they cute. Look at the oh, the Bobby Christina and all no, that shit. But in the later years, even on their show, the later they, years, they, the later they, years, they, they this has never been cute. Like it's never been like, <laughs> oh, never. Well, they don't fight in public. Like fight, fight. They they argue in public. Yeah, this Bobby nigga beat and up Whitney a daddy. Did. Bobby and Whitney have problems with families. It's it's this they modern Instagram. Day, they're this age, only less, way less talent is like they're this age. They're they're this they're this generation of Bobby and Whitney. Yeah. Way less talent. Ah, uh, I, I had to make it sure. Is, that's what I'm saying. Is, I had to make sure is. that I established it. it they're, they're the same, not in. Quality of like people, take, but in take Bob. Bobby has way more talent than both of them put together. Yes, and there's nothing bad to say about them. Yeah. It's just Bobby Brown is Bobby Brown. Yeah, and we're not even gonna talk about Whitney Houston. Yeah, like, like we're not doing. Yeah, that. you can't even. Yeah, because like Krishan went on to uh, that whole shit with her and uh, Tamar and all that, and, and then that situation lets you know <sighs> that like yo. You you are not her. Tony Braxton looking at you crazy. Yeah, like it's it's honestly very. Who do you think I am? Like, it's embarrassing, in a sense of like, for black people, nope, our culture, nope, nope, for I'm her to go. That. I'm not doing no, that. I'm a, I'm gonna do that because like for her to go out he and for back. her and him to establish this kind of like. Like I, I'll give you this, Blueface is very laid back. I fuck with that. I it's fuck very with the, calculated. It's very I, Ike-ish. I fuck with. It's very Ike-ish. It very you look much at Ike's is. interviews back yeah. in the day. Not yeah. saying he's that abusive or anything like that, but it's very like I know the pull, the strings to pull. Yeah. To make shit do shit. Yeah. And that's what I see in him, and it's just like. I don't care about that, and I don't appreciate it. Like he'd be very low key toxic. Like you doing that, like you, 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 her, your mama, yeah, uh, all that shit. The the whole like, and I'm not knocking anybody that you know, you know, it's do, trash. do drugs and weed is weed. So you know that is what it is. But it's like no, no, you say it's drugs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know what else like they could be on because of the fact that it's like. The way they just present themselves and the way they they create these situations where it's like it's embarrassing because it's like you're going into these spaces where other you know people are seeing you act this way, Mm -hmm. and it's already hard enough for us to you know try to show our kids 
a different light and a different way of living. And here it is. Y'all are being seen and doing this like wild shit. And, and like, cause my daughter knows. we uh, can't let them see him. My daughter likes Krishan. And that's a problem for me. Didn't you introduce her to her? Actually, no. I I thought like the vibe all the time. She yeah, but that she kind of heard of her already. Like okay. she was on. Oh, somebody, she in school. Yeah, she. They get exposed to a lot, yeah, bro. Yeah. So it was one of those like, how you know about Krishan and Chris Rock? Like Chris Rock, <laughs> Krishan. <laughs> Both of them get slapped. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, yeah. So Krishan and the blue face. We gotta leave that. Gotta leave that in twenty uh twenty three. Okay. Uh that's all you got? I thought we was gonna bounce ideas, I man. Like, with shit. I yeah. got some passable shit. Yeah. Before I get into some shit I really don't like. Uh cartoon boots. What? John Morant playing thug. Him and uh King. Harris should been quiet with them though. Good. No, he on um he on trial and shit. Oh, uh, okay. That's why it's been like yeah, I heard he, nothing. He on some. Um, How's the trial going? I hope in his favor. He he said that he uh, hit that nigga on self defense, and then they had he had to demonstrate in court how to check a ball. <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> Like, did you do it like this? Or did you like do it like this? <laughs> was it like this? Or was it like this? <laughs> right, right. So I was like, I'm not watching this shit. I'm gonna wait till the end because they on some. I mean, he did still on a minor. I don't know, but minors be big though. Pause. You know, <laughs> so I was like, like this thing. I thought he was grown. It might have been on that shit. Anyway, uh, yeah, them little motherfuckers do be like. If you playing yeah. against NBA players, you big enough to. Yeah, like, like hey, you, you, you grown almost. This motherfucker <laughs> posting me up like he's strong as hell. Yeah, like, nah. Yeah. That's, why, like, that's why I have a little, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know what's the word. Not patience, but it's just like I feel him a little bit like, first of all, you rich. You shouldn't be in that situation. But second of all, it's just like, hey, I'm playing against motherfuckers that's trying to prove that, like, hey, I'm better than this nigga. Gee. So you might get a nigga that got a little Draymond in him. And now you just like, oh, nigga, I'm grown. Yeah. And well, in his case, I'm grown. Because he, <laughs> cause of the, and the, essentially he was still young in the mind. You get what I'm saying? John Murray like, 21. Well, he was. So, so 21 is still very fucking young. You know yeah. how you was thinking at 21, bro? 16, 21, five years. Somebody, five. Get, yeah. somebody, somebody you 21 and you just got like figures thrown into your bank account and the world knows who you are. And this nigga trying to Everywhere you go. He's trying to hold me in my craft. And it's like, it is kind of on some like. And not, as a person. Like, I'm not even going to say on some. Bitch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, you're still young in the mind, but you also like. You shouldn't be up and straight. You also got to let it, sometimes these young niggas know, because we know that these young niggas are 15 and up. Some, some of them even 13. Going if they on big. mansion. Get my other gun. I'm shooting all Gee. Y'all. You saw straight out of Compton. They was all on the bus doing all that. What up, cut? What up, cut? They pulled that motherfucking bus over real quick and it started, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, 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 what Ice Cube say? <laughs> it's like, he just came to drop some knowledge or some shit and bunked out of there. <laughs> like, hey, y'all need to be banging them books. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's just, you know. Hey. I appreciate that nigga though. Know? Right? <laughs> like, y'all niggas calm the fuck That's down. That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, like, I eat crips for breakfast is what he said. <laughs> like, he was letting them know, like, no, there's some real shit out here, bro. Like, and you, and we don't know what that little nigga said to John Morant. Like, you know, how many times at the, at the, well, John Morant is not that nigga on the bus. He not. That's why I said it's not really, it's not really him dropping game, but because he's still younger than mine. But he also has a check a young nigga, like, who was like, bro, who you talking? You know what? Like where I'm from, security. You know what I'm saying? What you thought I was gonna be the? the you thought you was gonna hold me? Where he's from? I mean, I'm okay. Doing this. I, not where he's from, but like his real name's Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> True, I forgot about that part. 
All right, man. Uh, <laughs> the last shit. Oh, I ain't say this one. Skip and uh, Shannon break up. No, no, no. We leaving shit behind. We need to leave Skip and Undisputed. Get him the fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh, it's done. That shit ass. It's there. It's trash. Yeah. Whatever yeah. he's trying to do, yeah. he fucked it up he ain't got by shit. trying to son a yeah. grown ass man who was putting him on. Yeah. We was not watching that shit without him. No. Nah. You, you, you come up here with your Stephen A. You come up here with your sneakers because you try to be a sneaker nope. and anything you can be, you know, nope. whatever. No. Nah. Get him out of here. Get him the fuck out of here. We don't want to hear your we don't want to hear you hate on great men, great she, black men. That's all you do is hate on great black men. How, why do you, <laughs> how do you get to come here every week and say LeBron ain't shit? That's stupid. Like we can do that in the barbershop and lie, but we just compare them to Jordan. But you and look, that's different. But you look like you melting away. You hate Iverson. You hate Iverson. What? You hate T.O. What? You hate uh, LeBron. What? Well, you hate no niggas that's in the Hall of Fame that's raw as hell. You saying the thing ain't shit. But, like, the only thing that comes to mind when I hear that is, like, who do you love? Like, I just want to know. <laughs> who do you love? You love nigga? Jordan and Jerry Bonds, which uh, I like them niggas. Well, yeah, like, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Nah. Nah. Leave his ass back there. Yeah. Get your old ass the fuck out of here. You, you're not here no more. Man, where, where is it at? See, like... Yeah, because Stephen A. Smith... I don't want to see him no more. Stephen A. Smith gives, like, the equal amount of love as he does hate. Yeah. And I think that that's the balance that a lot of these analysts need. Because if you start to sound like you... But his hate is fact-based. It is. It very much so, like, is a... He comes from a different... So I don't want to He'd be like, LeBron doesn't have the clutch gene. It's like, I've seen this nigga hit a lot of game winners. Yeah. <laughs> I think mean, he's just, but maybe he's like the industry plant of the natural. Oh, get him out of here, gaslighter. I don't want to hear it no more. Yeah, so do you want to hear it there. anymore? Do you watch that shit? Get you him out of here. Well, none of us do. We don't care. Shannon killing right now though. He killing club chase. Big him and Chad. Him. Get big killing up to him, shit. Bro. Killing shit. That's what we keeping in there. The last motherfuckers we leaving at is Jada Pinkett on any talk show, any podcast. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not going to say anything more because things that I've been hearing, motherfuckers be like asking other people, mainly my wife, what's your husband's podcast about? And she says, she's like, oh, good. It's not one of those women bashing and women needs to do this shit. It's like, no, no. (laughs) Somebody actually said that? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's happened a bunch of times. Wow. It's like, yeah, no. Nigga ain't I, now. I have bash women on here, but that's not my mo. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my mo. I, I that's, do not, that. that's not the foundation. No, 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 no. Yeah. If I don't want to do that shit, I just talk to my wife. No, <laughs> not about her. I mean, even you know what I mean. Sometimes you know what I'm saying. She fucks up, uh, but sometimes it's me and bash, and I fuck up. But you know, um, yeah, we're not spewing that shit out there. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, want, I don't want to see her ass out here <laughs> talking shit. While her husband's sitting around trying to get his shit together. Yeah. Who we love. Yeah, no. Nah. I ain't seen this bitch in no movies since Woo. Yeah, I I miss seeing her in the in the I mean to call no bitch. In the news or in the like public for positive shit, like when Red <laughs> Table talk was just, it was positive yeah, at first. It was just giving out good conversation, good side. Like, then they got too deep about some shit. They exposed some other shit. That you know what? Now I, let, I hated my husband. Now let's go this route. It's like, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Really? Like, <laughs> Look, I don't care what he did. Yeah. I watch his show every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Who we keeping? Who we keeping? Um... I think that oddly enough, I see that you got Kanye on here. Yeah. His shit is supposed to come out. We're filming this early, but it's I, supposed to come out tomorrow. Me, me. But you know he be lying. Me and wifey. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I have talked about it. And, 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 this is a Kardashian family. Yeah. Have talked about it, uh, it, it, like had discussions around like understanding the Kanye mentality and knowing how to. Why are y'all trying to understand that? It's not 
trying to. We're saying that we, we like we approach Kanye knowing that Kanye is going to be Kanye and do Kanye. And there's always an underlining message that Kanye is trying to say. Mm -hmm. He's trying to express himself and by all means, by all means, like he's going to get, he's, he's doing it to get your attention. Mm -hmm. And that's just how he always been. And it's just always a shocker to everybody because all you, all you see it as is face value and you shouldn't. It's almost like you should like, and I and I think that the I thought we had been talked about that. Like we on the same page. Yeah, man. yeah. No, I think we are because I thought you was like fuck that nigga. No, like it's always something like damn. Yeah, why you say that? But oh yeah, like, yeah. It, it's always that. It's always you feel that. that way about me. Yeah. <laughs> You ain't never went full Kanye. Oh no, 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 no. You never go full. You never Kanye. go. <laughs> so like it, it was just like, you know, I think that there's a, you know, a method to his madness. Mm. And I think that the moment though that's gonna shock everybody is when everyone says, you know what? Kanye is just gonna be Kanye. And, you know, we can't take what he says seriously. Or if they if they read it like we read it. He's going yeah. to no longer want to do this shit. The music? I, whatever it is. I don't think that he, like, the reason why he keeps going is because of the reaction that he gets from everyone else. The shock value, That's the everything. Fine. As long as he keeps putting out fire, which he has not stopped doing. Yeah. He has not stopped putting out fire. Yeah. I'm really interested to, to hear his latest project because. The snippets that I heard, I actually, I, I be just completely honest, I don't know if I was feeling it too much. Yeah, I fuck with vultures. I feel like the, that was good, but there's some other snippets that I heard of some other uh, like that he did the clips and stuff. Yeah. Like they did the uh, what is it the uh, oh, the Backstreet listening, Boys shit, the, the listening party shit. Yeah, yeah I don't that. listen to the snippet shit. I want to hear it when it come out because. All that shit don't be the shit that you hear when it actually happens. Yeah. And, shit, and so. you gotta get you gotta get it. And he gonna keep fucking with it. You gotta give it the right listen in yeah. the right environment. Meaning that either you got some really dope headphones or you're in a car. Yeah. Or you gotta get your car has to have a nice system. Yeah. Oh yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Or you just gotta turn it up loud as fuck. And your, and your levels gotta be right in the yeah, car. Yeah. You can't just be off the factory, you gotta up that yeah. base a little bit, or something. But yeah, I, uh, I'm definitely keeping Kanye. Hey, he's gonna have to really just be like, you know what? No, I don't care what he says. Matter of fact, I don't care what he says. Mm -hmm. As long as he keep putting out great beats, yeah. Whatever the fuck, yeah. Man. Whatever. Who else you got? You keep it. Um. Is Adam on my list? I'm keeping Jonathan Majors. Oh! I feel like... I saw the tape. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I really didn't like that. Like, I don't know what happened, what, what comes from it, you know, what not. I don't like white women chasing black women. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Actively being the victim, unless it's uh, like Bow Wow when he was in his prime and like they was chasing him in the mall. Like, nah, I don't like that. Like actively being the victim. When I saw in I, that in that video, her get hugged. Can I say something? Can I say something? <laughs> yeah, I feel like absolutely. this is one of these relationships where they just be fighting. Y yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think it's like him kicking her ass. Her kicking his ass. This is just me talking, and what I've been seeing, and my uh, experience. Sometimes niggas and women get in relationships where they fight each other all the yeah, time, bro. and sometimes you be there and be like, "Oh, all right, yeah. man, I'm gonna holler at y'all," and they 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 fight, they box. Yeah. Those type of relationships piss me off, though. I'm gonna be honest. Yes. With you. 
That shit ain't uh, cool. I mean, it's, it's not I mean, cool. I mean, it's, it's cool because it's like, hey, that's what y'all do. Yeah. Like, it's just like, don't do that shit around me. Yeah. Or, or like, I, I just don't like to know about it, to be honest with you. Like, if, if I know about it, because, I'm cool. Because I, I don't want to hear one side of the story. No. If I hear both sides of the story, it's like, yeah. oh, y'all. Oh, that's y'all. Okay. Cool. When they get to when y'all get to doing that, like nah, I can't invite y'all to certain places. I I've seen and heard about like some very violent um, yeah. relationships, and I think that it, and then they do that type of shit in front of their kids. Do all to like that shit pisses me off because I feel like y'all like don't call the police because I don't one of y'all winning. No, because my thing is is like though a lot of those relationships, those type of relationships involve outside people they involve the friends they involve the families they involve because there's a, a level of hey yes, this you're happened right, you're right, you get right, that call right. and, and and you're getting that call you're from right. a family member and they like yo so-and-so uh call the police i'm in jail or you get that call so-and-so hit me so saying all that you know what i'm saying and then it's like you involve him in me in this but you're just gonna go back and continue to do this and you're <laughs> this is just the shit that you do yeah like no because like because you can't call for the rescue that's what you be like like because there's <laughs> like because the abusive relationships that are like all um i need rescuing and i just can't get out is different from this is just what y'all This do. nigga winning. Yeah, you know what like I'm saying? It. Like, y'all y'all just doing this back and forth. Like, the the true victims are the ones that can't escape, and they don't know how to, and they don't, and they need your help. That's the ones that you you want the energy of the friends and the family to help you get out of those situations. What the I ain't going to show is saying, we don't like abusive relationships at all. Exactly. But if we're going to fuck with them, we... <laughs> what? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> we want the ones where it's single side vibes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm lying. Nah, yeah, I know you are. Cause I'm like nigga. I know. I'm trying to make a joke, but I mean, you got, <laughs> it can't. How are else we gonna come out of can't. domestic violence? You can't. You can't. It's just, I just it, did. It's just a serious. I just did. You didn't just. I do it. just did. No, we, and you helped me, <laughs> and that's why we're a good team. You fucking. <laughs> we are good to. Did we not just get out of that gym? I, I no, you got your ass out of there. Oh, your the own your own shit. But just to like just to close out on that because I do want I going back. I I just want to <laughs> no. I'm just saying because it did really it does really piss me off because I, I I know of relationships like that and I'm just like yo, don't involve me if mm-hmm. this is what y'all do because like, if y'all gonna be serious about. You know, y'all grown. Stop fucking fighting each other and, like, <laughs> taking your anger out on each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just stupid. Y'all both still here fighting, and then you want to get us involved to bail people out of jail and, and, and make the other, and now you want us to choose sides. And everybody you want us to, ain't. Um, nigga, we all got life problems. <laughs> it's like, I ain't got time. Every, everybody ain't got it here, bro. Everybody ain't got yeah, it here. That's just all my thing. Don't waste my time. That's all I'm saying. Damn. It, it sounds bogus, but it's like don't waste yeah. my time if you're not serious you mad about. Because you grew up in a nice household where they didn't kick each other ass. That's what it sounds. I'm like. not mad. It, it, it's a joke. <laughs> 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 Why would you be? Mad? <laughs> I'm not mad. Damn, man, my daddy went on shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, who else we keep? <laughs> Man, you got uh, here Tory Lane's music. And I'm honestly, keeping his music. Man, I'm keeping his music. I, uh, I, I'm keeping his music. Bro, I skip that shit all the time now, and it's not. It's, fine. it's just like he got some slaps. But see, the thing is, I'm not saying his whole catalog is slaps, but he has songs that I, I really was like. Say, like it's definitely not his whole catalog. Because yeah. a lot of that shit, I don't like that. Uh, it <laughs> Wait, pisses whoa, me off what? when he sounds like that. I don't like it. <laughs> Wait, like do it for again. the whole song, like. Uh, <laughs> like nah, I don't like that shit. Is that a porno? Uh, that's what it sounds like to me. When he do that shit, the whole fucking song, I don't like it. You know what I'm saying you got one more time. I said, I'm Gee. giving you grace. Gee, what the <laughs> fuck? I I was gonna say that I just skipped his song, of a couple of his songs, just naturally, 
recently, bro. And I don't think it's because of the whole like Megan and and all that shit. It's just I don't know why. It's just like that's cool. I'm just not. And that's I used cool. to. And I, I guess I never really fucked. Oh, with you him used to like him, but you don't no, know. No, I, I guess oh, okay. I didn't really fuck with him like that anyway. Oh, but like shit, now, that's different. But now it's like you know. I, I will agree that there's songs that he. I'll be yeah. like, oh damn, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not throwing them songs away. Yeah, no, and I'm I'm not throwing none of R. Kelly shit away. I'm, I'm keeping I'm keeping R. Kelly some music, and I'm keeping Tory Lane's music that I like. Yeah, we already talked about Kanye. There's, there's, those are the things I'm keeping. Okay, I'm, they're they're rolling right into 2024 with me. Yeah. Um. I. I um damn, I kind of want to go back to where I'm leaving cuz uh mm, who you hate. It's not a you gotta who. Get a hate, hate, hate it's not a who, it's, it's a like, what. What? Oh yes, that's even better. Long ass eyelashes. Like long oh, ass I thought we did that last year. Did we? Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck them long ass <laughs> eyelashes. Fuck. The caterpillar joints. Look, we, why can't we just leave that shit alone, bro? Why can't? Like, why can't we just leave it in the past? I just don't understand it. Whoever's, Y'all all look sleepy all the time. Whoever's doing it, Cause your friends fun. don't love you, <laughs> or your friends are not loved, and therefore they can't feel the love enough to love you enough to tell you to stop doing that shit. Because that's dumb. Now there are some long eyelashes that look good. But the snuff love against joints. Yeah. And you know what? This is gonna be a new segment next year. Uh single <laughs> nigga. I mean, married niggas talking about single shit. And we do it, we've been doing it. But it's just like I feel like it's a, we we yeah. need to, you know what I'm saying, go on in the lane and go ahead and make it known that <laughs> like, hey man, we know we shouldn't be talking about this, but we're doing it. Uh, yeah. But yeah, because our wives time. don't do that shit. It's how many times. Y'all niggas need to stop doing it's, that shit. What y'all think we talk about? When it's homie time. Yeah, this yeah, is the yeah, shit that yeah. we talk about. Yeah. F- so, fuck y'all mean. <laughs> yeah, stop doing that shit. Leave that shit there. Yeah. We, we tried to tell y'all for two years. As well as the fucking uh, baby hair for the lace front wigs that oh, you know what? touch your eyebrows. Look, 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 look. Now, at this point, we're, <laughs> we're out of our age bracket with that. True. Because that's, that's, that's 23-year-old girls. I'm not. No. I'm out of here. They be grown ass. Like women Stop it. rocking that shit, G. Stop it. I, I have not seen no grown. I have not seen nobody in their 30s do it, but I've seen the 20 year olds. I'm like, hey, I've seen anybody in their 20s, in 20s doing shit. Do I'm not saying nothing about that or yeah, nothing that's to y'all real. because you know I what I'm saying? I, yeah. I don't belong over there. Yeah. Y'all doing shit that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's True. fine. All right. Have <laughs> you seen the motherfuckers your age? Yeah. Uh, I mean, they be out here. Don't nobody. I would say the same thing I said about the eyelashes. Your friends don't love you enough. <laughs> nobody loves them enough to tell them and to tell you to tell you. Oh, uh, one last thing, BBLs. I know this is not just all about the woman. I'm not thing. getting rid of BBLs. Hey, I think the BBLs. Box BBLs. The ones that you know which ones I'm talking about. Oh yeah, the box ones. I don't know if they botch. I think that they just. I feel like the ones are too big for the let's, legs. Let's bring back just the natural, just you know, way. I'm like embracing. I don't your, know if you can say that. Embra- I don't know if you can embracing, say that. I don't know if I can either. But I'm just saying, embracing the natural body is the thing because because like, I won't, I won't Invisalign. <clears throat> so you know what I'm saying. I mean, like, <laughs> like yeah, I get it. I mean, fixing like certain things is one thing, but like yeah. altering your complete like body makeup. To me, it's like when it's good, it's good. But it, like having this like oblong shapes, like where you super wide down. That's here what I just said. Like, I was like, but I don't know if that's considered. Legs. I don't know if that's botched though. That's botched. Botched to me is like they, don't they, they like fucked that. up. So they yeah. do. They rock uh, around and walk and and love that shit. I mean, after you just spent fucking ten, twenty thousand dollars. What the fuck you gonna do after that? You just have to rock with it, man. You you can't. I, you and and I'm gonna stay out of women's business and, too. Yeah, I'm saying, I get you. I'm gonna stay out of. It's botched. Like it's, you ain't wanna look like that. You wasn't like that. That's you saying that. But when they walk uh, around and, and when they feel like they the shit, 
and it's shaped like until somebody say something to them, they gonna say no, I'm beautiful. I mean, which they are. Every woman, they you know what I'm saying, should that. embrace the fact that they are beautiful. So it is, and that's just, again as to why I feel like you don't necessarily need that. And I, I will hope you still like aren't trying to do that for a man either. All right, before we get into the uh, who ain't going for the year. Still on this, we leaving behind since we add shit on. Let's leave behind delusionism. I don't even know if that's the word, but it's <laughs> oh being delusional. God. Please, yeah. Like, and I'm gonna get therapy this year too. But let's say everybody get some therapy. Let's say everybody get some real friends. Let's say everybody ask for some real opinions. And you know what I'm saying? Ask if you fuck it up in life or ask if you fuck it up by saying some shit. I try to do it all the time. I'm trying to do better. I'm, I'm gonna do it right now. Am I fucking up? Like you thinking what? about it? Fucking up with what? Yeah, I'm trying to. Think. Are you fucking up with what? Right. Your conversation now. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Or, or or life in general, how you <laughs> <laughs> walking through it? Because I got some everywhere. things to say. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got some shit that I need to get off my chest. He is in his bag. Because you've been fucking I, up. I know the areas that I'm fucking up. And yeah. I'm trying to improve on them. No, you but care, everybody, bro. just everybody, let's try to be better. And let's leave all that. You know, it's cool to be confident, but it's also cool to be confident in things that you know that you fucking up at. I'm going to leave it. That's it. That's yeah, it. I guess, I guess you just going to have to read into that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's been drinking enough. He'll get it later. Uh, <laughs> all right. Got the top 10 of who ain't going this year. Did you have any changes? Uh, no. I okay. Think that's a good one. Well, before we get into that, there's a lot of things that's happened this year, and we're not going to cover them all because it's too much shit to talk about. So, we're going to do a Stone Cold, if that's okay with you. I mean, yeah. Okay. All right. The year started out. I'm going to start out chronologically, and it's going to go all over the place. Tom Brady finally retired again for good. What? Tennessee lady cop that got ran by her coworkers and got everybody fired. What? The MLK Memorial in Boston. It looked like uh, a hand job. What? TSU. Do you remember that shit? The the. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it looked like a hand job. I thought it just looked phallic. Well, uh, yeah, it looked like somebody was holding a dick or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was that? Oh yeah, uh, TSU aristocratic bands won a Grammy. What? Tiger Woods evicting his girlfriend. What? That Stand, was that standing shit. on business. Yeah, that was that. <laughs> Brian McKnight Love announcing don't live his kids. Here anymore. What? <laughs> Elon Musk challenging Mark Zuckerberg to an MMA fight that never fucking happened. What? The submersible. You know what I'm saying? Do we have it? We don't rough. have no uh, sad shit for that. Uh, Chinese spy balloon. What? Cardi B and 50 Cent hit their fans in the head with microphones. What? Tim Anderson of the White Sox got knocked the fuck out at work. What? Kanye gets banned from Venice for getting that head in public. What? Why Why am I a billionaire if I can't do that? I don't understand. See, that's your fucking problem, bro. Okay. Why am I trying to get rich if <laughs> I can't do what the fuck I want to do? Because you can't do what the fuck you want to do. If I'm a billionaire, do. I need to be get, get out of every jam possible. That's fucking... I need to have that, unlimited... Like, I need Grand Theft Auto with unlimited fucking guns, and that cars, is, and nigga. That, I'm, that I'm not is, trying to kill nobody, but you know what I'm saying? I need to be able to problem. do some shit, man. That's the problem. Okay. Just because you're a billionaire doesn't make you any different from the next person. Nah, that's not true. Yes, it does. From a from a humanity standpoint. Oh, humanity, yes. So, so why I would- I can't get my dick sucked in public? That's no. stupid. You can't get it. You can't do it I now. Did that, I did that broke. I can't do it, billionaire. Crazy. Are you okay? You guess like it's I'm like, not. Like, bro, how does I'm that even not. make sense? How does that make it right though? Like, what does that what make is it right? right. No, Nobody like, said make it right. Broke. I'm just saying like, I should be able to do that. I have a billion dollars. I should be able to get my dick sucked anywhere I want, for the most part. Like, not in a cop. I mean, even then, and I should be able to buy my way out of that. I should be able to get my dick sucked in a cop car. 
<laughs> why do I have a billion dollars? Why am I doing this? To live. Why am I working so hard if I can't do that? Wow, bro. Okay. Keep wow. going. Wow. Uh, some people you, will feel uh, me. Wow. That's man. the that's like, minimal all, shit. Like, people me, are billionaires and they try to ruin countries. Me. I just <laughs> head and pop. Like, what? Me being a billionaire has nothing to do with me having private moments or I ain't nobody saying that you can't do anything. Uh, you are. I know. I'm saying like <laughs> to do that in public, nigga, there's potential for kids to see that. It's, it's oh, potential kids. for everybody. There you go. Like kids. it's fucking like you don't think I looked around? So, so your 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 goal in life as a billionaire is to get hit in public? No, it's not my goal. I'm just saying I should. But you're be saying, able to but, do you, that. but you should be able. To, no, that should be the least of my just, problems. No, like some shit just don't make sense. Like, why is that even like a like being wealthy does not mean I feel like I should be able to do just. Then why the fuck are they doing it? You don't see him? You ain't seen Diddy in the past couple days? You ain't seen Elon in the past couple days? You ain't seen Zuckerberg in the past couple days? If I These have, niggas is doing way worse shit than getting blowjobs in public. If I have They been. are ruining fucking economies and people's lives. And we getting $400 and in, it's not in, in, right. right. fucking up. It's not right. So it's no but difference to me. Like it's, getting head in the public in Venice is like, why do you need to get ahead in public? Like and taking your identity and ruining fucking nations and elections and shit. Like, why am I even talking about me getting a blowjob in public? What do you? I don't even understand. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not gonna gaslight you. I understand. Like, right. why are you holding me to the same standard of this shit? You do it too. Nah, I'm yeah, full of yeah, shit. I mean, You've done it too. Nah, you never got hit in public. Mm-mm. Okay, we doing this again. All right, uh, <laughs> like, I mean, I'm just saying, yeah, like, yeah, 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 protect the coat. USA basketball get their ass whooped. What? In the fuck? Not even in the finals. Jimmy Butler went emo. What? Joe uh, Smith and his wife's OnlyFans. What? Draymond. Why is Jimmy Butler going emo? Like even this happened. People was mad about it, and we talked about it on the show. I it was, know it was the cover of one of our episodes. I know, but like man, people was mad. I, I still don't understand why that was such. We a wasn't big mad. Deal. People was mad. <coughs> yeah, one more. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Draymond kicking ass. What? Trump Rico. What? In season tournament. What? Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson becoming the first black woman justice to be confirmed to the Supreme Court. <laughs> Brittany Brown came home. <laughs> Montgomery Brawl. <laughs> uh, King Harris getting choked out by his daddy by because he embarrassed him and himself in public. Yeah. Uh, Colorado Coach Prime. What? That was a nice little three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> like a motherfucker. Uh, Kiki Palmer, Usher, and Darius. What? We already talked about Skip. Uh, John Morant and his shenanigans. We talked about that. Uh, the missing girl that wasn't missing. I didn't even remember her name. But um, Oh, yeah. yeah no, nah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We leaving her. She can stay two, gone. Two, we going to leave her. Ass. And her nigga to be yeah. doing uh, motherfucking... Uh, Engagement, yeah, hosting engagement and shit. And uh, LSU women's hoop, man. What? Yep. All right, so top 10, top 10, the people who ain't going this year. We already talked about our boy Kanye. I don't even know how we doing these. Are we stone cold in them? (coughs) I mean. Coronavirus! (laughs) Coronavirus! Hey, man. Kanye, these ain't in no order. What? Trump. He ain't never going. He wasn't going last year. What? Mm. The people at the Montgomery Brawl. Yeah. <laughs> Draymond. That what? nigga is not giving no fucks. Jada Pinkett. What? Ain't yeah. going. Brian McKnight. What? <laughs> ain't going at all. <laughs> uh, Tiger Woods. What? Kicking the old girl out. And blame it on his trust. (laughs) (laughs) Cassie. What? Oh, uh, I don't know how you say this phonetically, but uh, I'm going to try to do it. Ashraf Hakimi. And that is the uh, 
soccer player who put all his assets in his mama name. Oh yeah. When uh, his wife tried to take half his shit. After she didn't hold him down because he had a rape allegation, which ended up not being true. Yeah. And then she came out and was like, I was trying to leave him anyway. Yeah. Try to take half his shit. Guess what? I don't have shit. Do I need to lay on some OG. Well, where is all this? Yeah. Mom's on this yeah. shit. Shout out. And last but not least, us, nigga. Who else would it be, nigga? Uh, but us. We ain't going this whole motherfucking year, nigga. The fuck? No, no. Nah, nah. Over here. Go. Hey. We ain't been going all year, man. And guess what? Y'all ain't either, man. And we appreciate y'all. But y'all ain't made the top 10. No. But they don't make <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I'm just saying, I was like, you ain't put them in. They got to be a part of the top, yeah, you know, top 10. You ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers. It's, it's like it's both of ours. We uh, shared it together. Okay, okay, okay. All right, man, we going to do uh, one last KP ball for the end of the year, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Where we at? Can you be ball? Can you be ball? We're going to leave that in. Uh, yeah, we're going to leave that in. <laughs> Not the segment, but that uh, yeah, yeah, intro. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, for $1 million, never be able to lie again. <laughs> he wanna lie right now. <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna tell you right shit. now. I'm gonna tell you. It ain't enough money. It ain't enough fucking money. Not, it ain't enough money. Nah, nah, if you tell me I get a million dollars a day every day that I don't lie. What about a year? What about a year? A million dollars a year. Uh, 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 a million dollars a year? Ah, nah. That ain't, you can't, nah. <laughs> that ain't, that's not enough. How am I supposed to do it? How am I supposed to do What? Yo. <laughs> I don't know if I can make it. Oh, he ain't uh, going. Uh, I ain't either. I ain't either. <laughs> hey, look, and when I put it on here, I started jacking up the prices. I was like, it don't matter. It don't matter, bro. Like, it don't matter. We need to lie. <laughs> like, there has to be some type of level oh, of lying. Shit. Oh, we going to do some of these questions in the live episode. Oh, absolutely. And we gonna have, and we gonna have the audience motherfuckers oh, yeah. <laughs> see what yeah. the fuck they are. <laughs> oh. I, got, I got some shit for that too. Like, oh. like some way we can, like, you know, get, oh, get everybody shit. involved. That'd be dope. <laughs> hey, man, that was the best reaction I ever got in here, these <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, shit, man. All right, man. Wow, boss. Wow. And this will be the last wild bars that we have on YouTube because we try to monetize. And uh, <laughs> I keep getting copyright shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. And they're like, no, nigga. No. All right, so this is a Earl sweatshirt. Earl. Yo, I'm a high and an astronaut crashing while jacking off the buffering bids ass of rock eating applesauce. Sent to earth to poke Patrick's in the ass of sauce and knock blood ashes into their caskets and laugh it off. <laughs> hey, so. That nigga, I really like that. Yeah, that but nigga, it was like really fucking disturbing. It was disturbing, but that nigga was so. That was that. Yeah, that nigga went off. That nigga went off. That nigga went off. I was like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to hear more. I want more. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to listen to that. Like, you know, look at the guy. All right, man. Uh, it's the last shout out of the year, man. Let me mm-hmm. go ahead and give him five minutes. Nah, man. 
Um, I really don't. I, I I can't. I can't do the long the the long thing, man. To be a pause, but like, it really is. Just been a good year. So I just want to shout out to talk over here, please, sir. I want to shout out to my. <laughs> Like, don't tell me what to do, nigga. Uh, <laughs> I don't even care if you said please. <laughs> supposed to be my friend. <laughs> well, yeah, but fuck that. <laughs> um, I know yeah, what man. you're saying. <laughs> Shout out to, you know, my family, my wife, my kids. It's been um, a hell of a year. We've been doing a lot of great things. A lot has happened for us. And... Um, shaping up to have a pretty cool and interesting 2024. So, I bet. shout out to to them. Shout out to you know my extended you know my my you know family out there, cousins, uncles, aunts. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't get to see each other a lot, but you know they always find a way to stay in your heart. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, heart yeah. and mind. Yeah, and then when you see them, it's all love. And, um, you know, just shout out to, like, the old friends, too, man. Old friends reconnecting with motherfuckers and just, um, we all, like, want each other to do well. And it's always nice that even when you don't talk to, you know, some of your, like, old, you know, day ones and all of that. They relink and find out that, you know, they're still doing well. They're still healthy. Um, it's odd to think about we at the age where you start to really start losing people. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we start losing siblings. You start losing family members and, like, friends that are around the same age. That shit, yeah. is, like, it, it's wild, like, yeah, to think about stupid. that. And, you know, just want to shout out, you know, to all of y'all because... You know, it's all still love, man. Like, it's all still, like, the, the shit that made us who we are, as, you know, that has a part of us as far as personality-wise, the, the 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 growth that we had when we were younger or years ago, however you want to look at it, it's affected us and who we are today yeah. in some way. So it really is nice to, you know, remember those times and remember what those friendships uh meant and appreciating them and shout out to you know the people that, that you know that you i'm just rambling now but like just it's all love man it's all love there shout out to you bro we've been doing this like you said what two years now it's 96 right now it's 96 like episode 96. <clears throat> so uh just being, you know, able to do this shit and you be dedicated to it and being able to inspire me to do better each episode and just kind of work on Because we remember when we first started this shit, I was like, bro, I don't know how I'm going to be on on the on the mic pause and like, I mean, shut the fuck up you, you do it all the time like <laughs> pause again like it's just like, <laughs> like it's just like you know what i'm saying shout out to you for all you know just like kind of always being there for me man you know what i'm saying and being there like you always big up and always encourage me to just kind of keep you know doing what i do and 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 instilling the confidence to do this shit and making it fun you know what i'm saying because like we always talk about it being homie time y'all are getting glimpses of what it is like for us to be you know homies and when we're in that that, that time of just discussing these topics and discussing this yeah, life we, shit, we'd have been canceled yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we can't, yeah. He, be, he be trying to uh no, go. We, 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 we never go full, you know what I'm saying? We always, full Kanye. <laughs> <we> just, <laughs> you know, we give y'all just enough. But at the same time, man, like, thank you, man. Because, like, it's like, this has been fun. This is what we work for. We got big goals for this. And, like, wanting to make something of ourselves with this platform and just kind of getting to that next level, this... Like, I couldn't see doing this with anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Because you, hey, it yeah. works, bro. So, yeah, shout out to you, man. And then also, lastly, man, shout out to the 
small businesses, black owned businesses, you know, <laughs> entrepreneurs. Y'all been y'all been having a year too, man, inspiring us and continuing to give us the 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 You gonna keep leaving giving y'all hell. Hey man, he's still, <laughs> hey. If we don't know, we can't improve. If we don't know, we can't do better. So shout out to y'all, man, for you know really inspiring us all to to get out there, follow our dreams, and actually make some of ourselves, and actually get to this money because there's so much money out here to be made, and we all could get a piece of it. So yeah, that's my shit, bro. This is like uh, being second in the train. It's like. Hey, first of all, <laughs> shout out to my family, man. My wife, everybody in my family. Thank y'all for supporting me and being there with me and us in this uh, progression of this show. Because it's been a progression. We've had ebbs and flows. This shit ain't easy to fucking do. I know some motherfuckers think, might think it's easy just come up in here and get behind some mics and cameras and shit and just fucking record so I talk about shit. It ain't. It fucking ain't. But um, I really appreciate y'all that have like, you know what I'm saying, seen the struggle and have fucked with us during the struggle. Appreciate you, D, man. You've been fucking best co-host I could have ever, you know what I'm saying, had and shit, man. You come here prepared. 95% of the time. <laughs> hey, 95 that's, it, I was going to say 90. The other 5% you start, <laughs> you start fucking with me. <laughs> and saying some off the wall shit to piss me off. But that's part of the show. Yeah. So, um, shout out y'all, man. Shout out Stogie's back. This shout out Brian and Rob. Shout out Hitman Podcast. Chris, man. You've been fucking with us since before, since... During, still to this day, man. We homies, man. Yes. Shout out um, MG, KD, and J5, man. Shout out Main Look Podcast, man. Y'all was fucking with us during this shit, man. Uh, shout out King Odizi for the, you know what I'm saying? The free music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Letting us promote and all that shit. The beats, the shout outs. We, sh- we, we on the motherfucking song, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, man? And um, we got to shout out our, all our guests that have fucked with us during this time and shit, man. I, I, wrote, I wrote them all down. I hope I ain't miss nobody. I'm stone cold, these bitches. Uh, Get it. Our wives. What? Ashley. What? Amir. What? Steve. What? Big Chris. What? Jameson. What? Nate. What? KP. What? Ben. What? Chi-Town. What? Judge A. Reed. Ashford. What? Stacks 100. What? Twan. What? Gerald. What? Urban Two Times. Jordan. What? Jared. Jay on the Rocks. What? Bo. What? Oh, and Jared J5. What? Man, so we appreciate y'all. We appreciate all the support and all that shit, man. We're doing big things this this next year in 2024. I know everybody said that shit, but we fucking doing it. Yeah. Whether you're here or not, hopefully you're still here. Along with the ride. If not, Blessing to you anyway. Other than that, we out. Don't be weird. This has been the I Ain't Going Show. You can watch us on YouTube or listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeart, Amazon Music, Stitcher, and Audible. Please be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and follow.